former Marine, having served as a corporate in the early 1980s. Several years ago, David watched an old film clip by Red Skeleton about the Pledge of Allegiance and what it means. This morning, David is going to share what the Pledge of Allegiance means to him. Please welcome David. Our standard, 
old glory, a symbol of freedom wherever she flies throughout the world. Of the United States, we are 50 individual communities, each with their own sense of pride, dignity, and purpose that have all been divided up with these imaginary lines drawn on a map. Each of these communities have decided to make a commitment to something greater than themselves. And to the Republic, Republic, it's our form of government where the power comes from the people to the elected officials, not from the elected officials to the people. For which it stands, one nation under God, Who's God? Is it Lawrence's God? Is it Amy's God? Is it Andre's God? It's all of those gods. It is whatever God that you believe in, whatever higher spirit, whatever higher authority. It is your pledge that you're giving under those eyes of whatever authority that you believe in. Indivisible. No matter how much we disagree with each other, how much we fight, no matter how much the liberals and conservatives don't like each other, I truly believe that in a time of conflict or crisis in this country, that we will unite together and meet it as one. With liberty, the ability to go out and live your life the way you want to live it, as long as you're not harming other people. And justice, our legal system, one of the greatest in the world, where every person, no matter of your class, rank, who you are, you are treated equally under the eye, eyes of the law. For all, these are the two most important words of everything that I've said here this morning. Notice that there have been no if, and, ors, or buts. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter if you're young or old. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown, yellow, red. Doesn't matter if you're a Christian, a Catholic, a Baptist, an Islam. Doesn't matter what religion you are. The Pledge of Allegiance simply ends with two words. The two most important words that I want everyone to remember. That this is a country for all.